I know Bucksburg audience. Uh, I'm honored to be here with Benkat. So uh, he's going to uh, to to have to give a lot of talks here in Java One. Uh, I am Java One. I'm on, honored to be here, and uh, uh, he he he's the one one of the most important guys here in Java One. Uh, always his speeches are really crowded, and you probably know Benkat. So he's he's a legend. And uh, he's, he's the creator of Agile Developer, and uh, he's a professor in Houston. And it's, it's a great honor to have you here in Bangkok. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. It's definitely a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure Nobel's Project audience will learn a lot with Bangkok. And uh, I, 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 I want to ask you, uh, so uh, what, what is your biggest bug you had in your life, and how did you solve it? I would say probably I've had a lot of small bugs than the biggest bugs. Uh, I probably have dealt with a lot of different bugs that uh, has annoyed me, tortured me, and kept me awake. But but to make it really useful, I'll probably talk about one particular bug because I think the learning that came out of that really uh, ended up to uh, things that I actually teach uh, quite often. And and that is this was at a client site actually. The client had called me and said uh, they were having a really big problem with this web application. And uh, they've been spending three months on it, and they couldn't figure out why this was failing, and they wanted to, me to look at it. And I sat down and I said, show it to me, and they showed it to me, and uh, it was very scary, because I had no clue what was causing it. And, uh, and so I looked at them and said, I I'm really sorry, you want my help, but I have no clue. But if you wouldn't please mind, can you please you know, give me those two ends that you have as a sample that I can play with? And they were very generous. They said, you know what, we spent too much time on this, so any help, we are ready to take it. So they pretty much put it on a little thumb drive and said, go take it with you. And then I came to the airport. I was leaving, so I was sitting in the airport. The flight got delayed, which is awesome. So now I'm in the airport, not being able to travel. So I started really looking through where absolutely no clue, but very frustrating. And then I realized, to go back to the first principles, one of the very important things to really attack a problem is to isolate the problem from the surroundings. This is what we not normally don't do because we are eager. The people who are working on this for three months are very fine engineers. They're really good people. Yep. But they attach to the problem emotionally. And as a result, they couldn't detach from the, the problem from the surroundings. So what I did was I created a little example in isolation. And it worked. Then the question was, why would this little example work but why wouldn't their project work? And I started moving this little example ahead until it got more and more close to the project and clicked, that was that point, my example had the same error that their pro you know, problems had. Well, that was like, of course, why this doesn't work makes sense. And as soon as I landed home that night, emailed them saying, go try this, and the next morning it was like you could almost feel their excitement in the email. My gosh, it was genius, you fixed it. No, I'm not a genius, I'm actually very simple. Uh, and, a, and a common person. And the reason I was able to solve the problem is I can't comprehend this complexity. I had to create something simple and work through and work with isolation. So that's one of the things I always you know, remind myself first because it's easy to forget this along the way and help my developers as well is isolate your problem from the surroundings because that's one of the easiest ways to fix the problem. Yes, and this is a perfect example because if we just isolate the, the problem, uh, it's much easier to find the bug, and I totally agree with, uh, with Benkat, he's totally right, and it, it's a uh, profound wisdom that uh, we, we, and when we isolate the bug, and we, we certainly will, will find out what's, what's causing it. And when we simplify the problem, and uh, we are able to know what's happening. So it's, it's amazing, uh, your, your, your explanation, and uh, it, it's a key point. So uh, perfect. Uh, it's it's going to uh, to help you a lot, the Nobux Spirit audience a lot. Uh, I'm sure this this golden tip, and uh, I, I, I I I wish uh, you you could give us uh, 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 a really uh, another golden tip uh, that is, is that can really help us. 
and uh, I don't know the, the most uh, valuable experience uh, to have the, a powerful code. Uh, what what do you suggest for us to have a really powerful code? I, I one, of, one of the things that I benefit from uh, a lot is you know as we gain experience, as we get better at what we do, we come to a point where we kind of take it for granted and we say, oh, I got this, I know how to do it. But the honest, simple answer is none of us know because there's always a better way to do things. Maybe a simpler way, maybe a smarter way, maybe a better way in whatever that better means. So one of the, my strengths really is the people that are willing to critique me. And I've gotten, I've gotten to be a better person because I've had people who are very kind to critique me. And, and I think this is two-way street. Developers have to be willing to be critiqued. There are so many people who get offended when they get critiqued. Even if the criticism is very positive, they're like, no, I don't want to hear anything. I'm good at doing what I do. Don't tell me how to improve it. And it's a two-way street. I think it's important for people to help and also important for people to make help as well. I think we get become a better developer by helping others. We also become really good developers by taking help from other people also. So being in front of people, showing you something that I've done, asking you to critique it, and then vice versa. I think it's a great way to learn and get better. Yeah. So uh, it is. It's really good. Uh, we have to know how to take critics and learn from from. It, it, I mean, it's not easy to take critic, critic but uh, we can learn a lot from it. So uh, it's, it's it it was gold here. I, yeah, sure. I, I really, I really yeah. it was a great honor to have you here and. Uh, I have no words to have you here. <laughs> yeah, and it's a pleasure. Thank no you very much. No audience will, will love you. So thank you, appreciate. It. Thanks for having me. Here. Really, thank you for thank for you. being here. So this is No Bugs Project. So uh, you will love it for sure. Bye bye.